Orientation of building for your house Dear friends, orientation of building is to design building in such a way as it receives maximum ventilation and natural light in all climatic conditions. It provides comfortable living conditions inside the house and saves energy bills also. The orientation can defend undesirable effects of worse weather. Climatic Implication Orientation of building determines the amount of radiation the building receives. The orientation with respect to air patterns affects the amount of natural ventilation as much as possible. Benefits of Building Orientation Energy Saving Orientation of building is energy efficient approach as the building orientation saves heating, cooling and lighting cost. You can take optimal benefits of the sun by maximizing southern exposure. It lowers cooling cost by minimizing western exposure where it is most difficult to provide sunshade. Breeze or natural air Orientation of building provides breezes in warm and humid climates. On the other hand, the orientation prevents hot winds in hot and dry climates. Natural Ventilation Building orientation provides natural ventilation and light which is beneficial to the health of inhabitants of the house. Factors Affecting Building Orientation 1. Solar Radiation and Temperature The intensity of solar radiation depends on the direction of sun rays. The temperature of a structure and living space increases due to sun radiation and affects environment of the house. Solar radiation acts in two ways. Sun rays directly come to the house through openings. Radiation comes indirectly through walls and roof of building by absorbing heat. For comfortable living particularly during summer season, radiation, temperature and treatment of room are considered. From solar radiation point of view, the best orientation is that which receives maximum solar radiation during winter and receives minimum solar radiation during summer season. The south facade has advantage of receiving more solar radiation during winter than that of receiving during summer. Even for openings on south facade, small overhangs such as curtains can cut off direct solar penetration during summer and allows it during winter. How to minimize solar heat in south facade? In fact the incidence of ground reflected radiation on human body from southern sun and south facade causes great thermal discomfort and visual glare. To minimize reflected solar heat, grassy lawn should be developed in front of south facade. How to minimize solar radiation in western facade? The eastern and western facade receive nearly equal amounts of daily solar radiation throughout the year. The only difference is when the sun shines on eastern facade. The building or house is comparatively cool and air temperature is low. On the other hand due to higher air temperature in afternoon, the heat flows indoor through western facade. To minimize the effect of solar radiation in western facade, the sunshade on opening should be constructed. 2. Clouds and rains Clouds and rains have comparatively less importance in orientation of building. The areas with low clouds cover sky largely and determine the effect of both incoming solar radiation and outgoing terrestrial radiation. The walls of lesser thickness should not be designed in the direction of heavy rains. 3. Humidity It depends on weather condition of the area and has little role in orientation of building. The movement of air and use of prevailing wind are very important during periods of high humidity. 4. Humidity Design Consideration the comfort in relation to humidity becomes complex. In humid environment there is very warm feeling when there is no breeze and air temperature is 30 degrees centigrade. On the other hand if humidity is low, one may feel cool even if the temperature rises up to 32 degrees centigrade with little breeze. It will be cooler at the same temperature if there is reduction in relative humidity. And if there is breeze in high humidity area, the building should be designed in such a way as it has more natural air and ventilation. Five. Prevailing winds Prevailing winds help create natural ventilation in a building and give more comfort during high humidity. During orientation of a building and designing doors and windows openings, the direction of wind flow should be considered. Fix windows and ventilators at proper location in building to provide maximum air and light. It is better if the flow of wind is more in building during humid period than rest period of the year. Close openings to avoid heat and glare in summer. If you like the video give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. For getting more useful and interesting information to subscribe to Engineer AJ Lod's channel How to Make Home.